Okay, I am here at Shaq's. I'm trying out the grilled chicken sandwiches. They only had the white meat. So, grilled chicken breast. And so I am trying out the MDE, which is Shaq sauce pickles. And I'm gonna try it out right now for you. No ketchup by itself. You know I rate food on a scale of one to five. Mm. A little dry, the chicken, but it is seasoned so well. It is seasoned so well. The, the shack sauce gives it a little bite. Because of the dryness of it, that's why I wanted dark meat because white meat tends to be a little bit more dry. The flavors are there though. I have to give it a three out of five. I have also the Aristotle. Crispy onions, bacon, barbecue sauce. So, um, let me try this out with the bacon and see if it steps up the game. Hmm. Still a little dry. I don't know if maybe the barbecue sauce gives it a little bit more moisture along with the the fatness of the bacon but not as dry as the MDE let me try the fries without ketchup and with ketchup They're thin, cut, they're flavorful. A little crunch to it when you're biting into it. I love these fries. The ketchup even makes it better. I think for the fries, I have to give it a five out of five. Disappointing. They said that the chicken was supposed to be made to order, but when I asked for it, they had it like underneath somewhere. They didn't have it on the counter, so they had it already made. And with white chicken, that's probably the reason why it's a little bit dry, because if they have it already heated, instead of being fresh made to order, as the sign said, that's what made it a little dry. two more sandwiches to try out and I'll try it out this week and I'll let you know how those are as well okay so I'm going to finish up this review of Shaq's Big Chicken so let's review I had the MDE which was with grilled white chicken breast they did not have thighs it came with Shaq sauce and pickles I had the Big Aristotle with Munster cheese crispy fried onions bacon, sweet and smoky Memphis barbecue sauce. So today I am going to finish it off with the Shack Attack. Same thing, they did not have chicken thighs, so I'm going to have to eat chicken breasts. And so it had pepper jack cheese, jalapeno slaw, spicy chipotle barbecue sauce, the Chack Daddy. This is the um, Shack Attack. The Chack Daddy has Swiss cheese, country ham, Carolina honey mustard barbecue sauce. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. So the other two, the chicken was dry. 
I'm going to see if these different sauces, these different, you know, honey mustard, different types of soft sauces help the dryness of the chicken breast. So let me start off with the shack attack. Mmm. Just chicken is a little bit more meatier. Mm. Definitely delicious. Obviously the heat from the jalapeno slaw. Still on the dry side, but not as bad as yesterday. I got me some potato salad as well. Mm. It really doesn't have much flavor. A little tart. Really doesn't have much flavor. Is it nasty? No. Um, I give it a two out of five. For the shack attack, it's really flavorful. And I'm really giving these scores based upon the flavor. And I'll give an overall score later. Based upon the flavor, the heat and everything, I give it a four out of five. Let's try the Shack Daddy. You know, this is the one that comes with the ham, the Swiss cheese, the Carolina honey mustard barbecue sauce. Mm. I'm not getting much flavor at all. I almost felt like the, the chicken I had yesterday had more flavor or seasoning on it. And today, this one has less seasoning on it. So overall, I felt like the chicken itself doesn't have much flavor. You can't, you can't hide with all of the sauces and the ham. The ham, it says country ham, is not giving me much salt out of it. I had to give it a two out of five. I thought this would have been really good, but it's really not giving me anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. A little bit of flavor. Mm. Not much. So I have to give that a two out of five. So overall, what do I think about Shaq's Big Chicken? The grilled chicken edition. Now, I feel like there's some inconsistencies. I tried it over two days. I felt that the chicken yesterday, though drier, had a little bit more flavoring in it. And today, this chicken, even though it's not as dry as yesterday, I feel like there's really not much seasoning in this chicken. So I think there is some cons inconsistencies when it comes to the grilled chicken for Big Shack. Um, I don't, I never feel like sauces should save food. I feel like it should be something that builds on top of it. That should be something that gives it more depths and more levels of flavor. And so because of the inconsistencies overall, even though I rated each based upon their flavor, not the dryness of the chicken, when it comes to the grilled chicken, I can't even give it a three. Because of the inconsistencies, I would give it like overall, maybe just a two out of five. One day you go, you, it may be drier, but a little bit more flavor. Another day you go, not much flavor in the chicken, but not as dry. 
so it's it's so there are inconsistencies it's not horrible i feel i once you start saying something is horrible it's just me more, more or less like it's just con nasty because they ha add all these different things to the food yes it does add some flavor but the protein should really be the star the name of the restaurant is shack's big chicken the chicken itself to me should be where the flavor lies not in all of the sauces and everything else so this is my review i wanted to do the grilled chicken because i haven't really seen anybody focus on the grilled chicken for shack's big chicken let me know what you think let me know what you've tried and if it was different from what i've had if you tried the grilled chicken in the meantime, can you do me a favor? Can you like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification bell to be informed of future posts. And until next time, happy travels.